It is a record breaking year for shootings and homicides in Portland. The headlines about these skyrocketing numbers have really been tough to miss. We actually asked Portland police for the latest data, and they say that as of today, there have been more than a thousand shootings in this city, 1,026 as you can see to be exact. 320 people have been hurt in these shootings and 52 people were shot to death this year. That number far surpassing the record. Now, here at KGW, we have a team working to cover Portland's battle with gun violence, including Mike Benner, who actually sat down with Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler today. And so, Mike, what, what did he tell you? Well, Maggie, as you may have noticed, he has been keeping a pretty low profile. Right. But he decided today was the day to sit down and address gun violence. And he says, uh, like we all have, the record levels of it. And he, of course, he is troubled by it. In the coming weeks, the mayor says he hopes to get a specialized police unit up and running. This would be the focused intervention team. They'll be tasked with uh, intervening and preventing gun violence. He is also hoping to rehire a bunch of retired police officers. But here's the million dollar question. Is this even feasible? Will they want to come back and work in Portland? I do believe so. The chief has already had conversations with uh, folks both in the union as well as rank and file members, and we do believe that there would be interest in this program. And you think this could have a direct impact on the gun violence in our city? There is no question in my mind that if we have the focused intervention team fully staffed, which I expect to have happen next month and deployed, in addition to the enhanced community safety team that I directed the chief to deploy several months ago that makes sure that we have investigative follow-up for gun violence, and if we add to that a longer term strategy around rebuilding the Portland Police Bureau so we can get back to community policing, which is what we should be doing in the first place, as opposed to just having officers bounce from call to call to call in their cars, this will definitely have an impact on reducing gun violence. And I want to be clear, because some people will hear me say, well, there goes Ted saying he wants to increase police, whatever happened to reform. I don't think making sure that the police bureau has the adequate tools, resources, training, and personnel is any way inconsistent with also implementing more community oversight, transparency, and accountability. Hmm. All right, so speaking of that accountability and that transparency, Mayor Wheeler says in the next year to year and a half, he hopes to have officers wearing body cameras. Now, this cannot happen immediately because the city and police union need to talk about when the cameras will be on, when they're off, and who manages the data and how. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you and I were talking about this question before you went to the interview because we, we hear from people at home and a lot of people feel like the mayor can take a lot of the blame for the gun violence on our streets, just kind of the general lawlessness and chaos on our streets, all kinds of crimes. And so I'm curious, does Mayor Wheeler think Portland has become just kind of categorically unsafe? All right, so we of course asked that question. Yeah. He did not come out and say yes, but he alluded to it. Take a listen. Do you think Portland is less safe today than it was several years back, say when you were elected or reelected? So it, it, it depends on what statistics you're looking at. There are some criminal activity that has skyrocketed, most notably gun violence. There's other criminal activity that has gone way down. But it sort of doesn't matter. The reality is, in overwhelming numbers, more Portlanders are saying they don't feel safe in their community. And as a result, they're making life decisions based on their feeling of being unsafe. We're seeing businesses choose not to reopen. We're seeing employees choose not to come back to downtown. We're seeing people who are afraid to take public transit. We're seeing people not being as willing as they should be to go to restaurants or visit retail establishments. All right, we had about 15 minutes with Mayor Wheeler this afternoon, and Maggie will, of course, post the entire conversation in its entirety on YouTube. All right, Mike Benner, great questions. Thank you very much.